Hello everyone, welcome back to Man Manga Boy. Decided to open up more manga, holy shit, you tell. Anyways, um, I actually have more boxes from Right Stuff. I've got one box from my friend on the Discord server, which we'll get to also. Get a little bit of a trade. So let's start with this small box here. It's really, um, I think this is one volume. This, I feel like, is what got Right Stuff to stop sending out, um, Partial orders. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I don't think that this is healthy for the right stuff market. Wow. Feel free to use this card if anybody wants it. It'll be good soon. When does the start? Doesn't say. I guess you could use it today. Oh, maybe against 26 you can do it? I don't know. Horimiya volume 15. Horimiya Mia. Ha 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 ha. Um, this series recently ended soon, uh, or recently ended in Japan as far as I know. I don't know if it was simulpubbed in English with anything, but maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, who knows. Anyways, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, this was a pretty big standout out of last season. Um, quiet guy meets a uh, girl who wants to rebel. Guy tends to be a rebellion and super smart. Wow, match made in heaven. Um, but I pretty much got it because my girlfriend fiance said that it was super good and they used to read it when they were younger in high school. That's why I grabbed her. All right, so we got some beautiful things in here. Let me get out a few packages. There we go. Oh man, we got a lot of things. All right, so Mesa on Eco Coop, volume eight. You guys like I'm talking, or is it really annoying? You tell me down below, and um, maybe I'll stop in the future, who knows? Uh, by Rumiko Takahashi. I think this is kind of getting down to the end. Uh, not quite sure how many volumes there are, but I thought there was like 11. Might be more, might be less. Fifth of the North Star, I've been seeing everybody post about this. Glad I finally got this in because this one has some sweet color spreads. Uh, so that's really cool to see. Uh, granddaddy of Action Jump titles. Uh, the last two volumes have been really good, especially compared to the earlier ones. So if you guys fell off this, the first two volumes, uh, pick it back up because it's much better now. And uh, I think you probably learned your lesson. You should stop punishing yourself. Which had Atelier Volume 9, uh, another series I really enjoy quite a lot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful art. Excited to see if we get any development here or if it's just kind of the usual humdrum social daily life stuff. Uh, hopeful for more, you know, on the point of Cats versus the Brim Tats. See if we can have some, you know, some lore built. Peach Boy Riverside Volume 7. Uh, <laughs> still like four volumes behind uh, but this has been a pretty good series from what i read the anime i didn't really like it as much at the beginning but um the manga that i read is super good um so yeah can't wait oh my god absolute annihilation mega ogre blast tell me that doesn't look sick okay that looks sick that looks so sick You know what they say, flippity floppity, get off my property. Here we have Bungo Stray Dogs Volume 21. And it looks like the bell is broken off the back. I, this looks like it goes a lot farther than the anime did. Hard for Mori to discern because it looks like that there are the surviving members from the literary book club. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call their team uh, here. And we also have Yashihimi, the spinoff of Inuasha. Uh, picks up towards the end, towards the end, at the end, after the end of Inuasha, featuring um, our main character's children. Uh, I watched a few episodes of it, thought it was pretty interesting, but fell off of it because I didn't think it was super great. 
And I also wanted to read Inuyasha before I got too far into it, so I still am in the process of reading Inuyasha, but I was still then pretty hyped to read this. We've got, um, what's her name's brother here? Yaku? No, I can't remember his name. I used to watch this show when I was in uh, high school, in middle school, but I've long since forgotten uh, the side character slash main character's names. I know Moroku Kagome, um, you know, Inuyasha, of course, Somaru, and uh, I, I can't remember the girl's name. I don't know why. The one with the big boomerang. I feel like such an idiot. Oh my god. Holy shit. JJK's out. I didn't even know. Volume 16. I uh, don't want to show too much, but the Shibuya incident's probably going to be moving on strong. It has been excellent so far. If you guys dropped JJK because you thought it was trashy, um, the author admits that he did a trashy job and that he got too popular. And so he got some college professors to teach him how to do a power um, system. And so if that sounds interesting to you, like it does to me, well, it picks up at Shibuya incident because things go off the wall. Um, Yakuza volume two, uh, reincarnation. This series I thought has been pretty interesting. That already looks a hundred times better than anything I read in the first volume. Uh, so that's great. We're off to a good start. The art to this is very cool, stylized. <laughs> Essentially, this old Yakuza boss who lives by a code of honor, he's like a very nice guy, ends up going to uh, die <laughs> and is reborn in another world. Sounds pretty familiar, right? Uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much the main concept of it. Uh, it seems like they're tied together from a tattoo on his back. Uh, Daikatana, Goblin Slayer, side story number two. Um, Daikatana has been pretty good so far. I have not... Uh, no, I, I haven't read the... Uh, entirety of year one, but side story, Bagatana, I've read one and two, and that's three. It's been quite good. Darling in the Franks, three to four. Um, Darling in the Franks, I like the anime pretty well. <laughs> Figured I'd like the manga, why not, right? Great arc of Madoka Magica, volume three. I have the other two omnibuses. I figured I'd collect the singles as they're coming out. Don't know too much about the Wraith arc other than everybody in my um, Discord channel uh, telling me it's the most craziest thing ever. They can't wait for it to come out. So I grabbed it. <laughs> Gigant Volume 8. Love, 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 love that series by our main man, Oku. We've got another box over here. Let's cut that open. See the goodies inside of here. I feel like I'm blasting through this. I know this would take me a long time, but I want. This is not taking me any time at all. Maybe it's because I'm tired. I'm blasting through these a little faster. I am pretty tired. It's like midnight on a school night right now. My P rants would be so mad if they could see me right now. <laughs> um, welcome back, Alice. We've missed you by Shuzo Shimi. I've heard nothing but absolute craziness off of this thing. So excited to not read it because I want to read a few other Shimi works before I get into it. But people tell me that it's on the symbol as Flowers of Evil. So how bad could that be, right? That can only mean great things. We've got some color pages at the beginning. Pretty excited, pretty excited to start reading that. Um, we have three Children of the Whales, uh, known to have the most attractive covers in human history. Uh, Children of the Whales, I do not know too much about, other than these people are traveling on this little whale. Comes and goes. Looks like there's some curse about it as well. So you can't leave the whale, if I remember right pretty exciting stuff i haven't been able to read this because i've been trying to piece it together right stuff had a sale where they had all the children of the whales kind of bundled together in these package deals you know as they do and so i bought them but of course one through six didn't come in i think i am actually still missing a few more you can see it's got a little bit of the um, glossiness to it which is cool so yeah, Children of Whales. 
if you guys are into beautiful manga, definitely pick this up, especially with beautiful manga covers like these. You do not beat this very easily. So that's really cool to see. These nice covers with some glossiness to it. One more right stuff package here. We're at the end. I was like, did they really send me another corner? Give me a second to get this out of here. You guys know what it is already. I don't need to, to hide it from you. There you go. Man, that sucks. So Bakemon Atari Volume 3. Um, is this the last one I needed? <laughs> is it? I keep feel like I keep getting hyped that I, I can read it, but I, I think I can read it. I don't know. <laughs> I hope so. It looks really cool. Uh, Baki Monogatari, line 14, by Oh Great, the Creative Air Gear, and Neo Sinusen. Oh my god, that rack. Anyway, so, <laughs> uh, you know, the two best, arguably, artists of, of both storytelling and drawing uh, in one combined work check it out if you guys haven't yet whoa that looks cool look at this artwork this is why oh great is so great <laughs> yeah the comic book kill volume four <clears throat> slowly piecing that together still like i said i did get one through six and again press sale i could have gotten one through 12 but i said i'll get one through six of Tommy got kill and one through six of silver spoon they're pretty similar right so i thought what the heck you know, half and half of a very similar similar manga. Just kidding, they couldn't be any further apart from the same. Probably anyways. Alright, this comes to us by way of the Great North. I don't know if there's anything identifying on this so far. We're gonna pretend like there's not though. Other than the fact that it says it's from Canada. <laughs> so this comes to us from Neek, as per usual. Neek is my Canadian um, dealer. They go to all these interesting local comic book sh shops in Canada and find some really cool finds that I am super jealous of um, that we don't get over here in America because we our plebs, and we've already bought them all. And we've drawn on them with crayons at the Red Robin dining mat room. Like idiots. <laughs> uh, so we've got Big O, the Big O. One, two, three, four, and five. I've got volume six downstairs. These are all bags, so I'm not planning to reopen them up. Uh, excellent to have this series. In, in its entirety, thankfully. Uh, so huge shout out to uh, Meek for giving me a stellar deal on these. You can tell she got a stellar deal too. Uh, <laughs> freaking 16.50 CAD. I'm assuming that's CAD. Like what? <laughs> that's so wild. These go for like <laughs> many monies, many much monies online. Um, so I was super stoked to make some trades with, with them about this. And we've got a few other volumes that are pretty rare too. Um, Eden, it's an endless world. I know it looks like I'm getting into Eden like an idiot because now that I finished most of my incomplete uh, out of print works, I decided to pick up another one. I know what you guys are thinking. Me huge moron. I agree. So uh, this one is the copy that Meek had that a little bit damaged, but it still is in better shape than not having one like I currently have right now. Uh, just some water damage. If I replace it, I replace it. If I don't, I don't. But um, yeah, cool to have it in my collection. Start getting Eden going here. We have volume four sealed. And I can't believe that these are sealed still. I mean, these are so old. We don't even have the, well, I guess we don't have the, the chest piece for them, right? 
It's all the horsey. So that's cool. Hopefully I can get the little horsey for the whole way through. Though I have a feeling that's gonna be pretty difficult. But whatever. <laughs> whatever. Anyways, that is it for today. That was a ton of manga. Um, but I powered through it and so did you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, please. It helps this channel out tremendously. Thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking through you, me, and all of you guys watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.